Hello again and welcome to another video. Today's video is just going to be tips and tricks for running Digital Factory version 10 Elke Edition on your white toner printer. So we're going to go over quite a few things today, um, basically just anything you might need to know if you're going to be running this printer. So we're going to go over the cues, turning rasterization on and off, the types of rasterization you can do. We'll go over knock me black out, knock me color out, as well as nesting and duplicating jobs and maybe some other tips and tricks as well. So. Hope you guys learn a lot from this video and enjoy. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the two cues that you have available. So up at the top here, you'll see the 8432WT photo and then the graphics cue. So the difference between these two cues is that the photo cue will try and maintain the integrity of the image, meaning it may not do color matching, it'll more try and make sure the picture still looks like a picture when it prints. The graphics cue, on the other hand, is going to try and maintain the integrity of the colors. So it'll do its best to color match whatever image you bring in, basically. So it'll just take what you have and try and keep those colors the same. So probably 98% of the time I'm working in the graphics queue, unless I'm printing an actual photo of somebody, then I'll be in the photo queue. Other than that, everything I do is in the graphics queue here. So first thing we'll talk about here um, is this image here. So say we're going to put this on a gray t-shirt. You can click this button. It's right up here, it says set substrate color. We can select gray here if we were gonna put on a gray t-shirt. And then you'll see what this image will look like on a gray t-shirt. So you can see it makes more sense because before we couldn't really see the white toner on here. So one of the first things we're gonna talk about is the rasterization. You can see the little dots that are all in this image. So what the software will kind of do is it'll actually turn rasterization on and off based on transparency that it sees in the image. So if you wanted it, you can just leave it as is it will do the rasterization automatically if you don't want it and you want to print however your image looks you can click the properties tab here and the second option is going to be color layer all the way at the bottom of that is ink removal you can click that and you can just click this button to disable it this will turn all the rasterization off so there won't be any rasterization in your image otherwise you can hit enabled hit ok and if you actually want to see for sure what it's going to look like this preview is super pixelated it's always going to be pixelated like that but if you want to see what it's going to look like you can go ahead and rip your image it'll go ahead and rip the job here so we'll see it kind of go through once it's done we can actually go ahead and look at exactly what the image will look like once we decide to print it so if you click view raw data right here hit okay you can actually see all the little dots that it has put into the image so this will do it based on the transparency that's in the image so there's some down here as well some of this is done like these lines are done pre going in but a lot of these dots will be done it'll kind of give you an idea of what it will look like once it's all said and done if you like that you can go ahead and print it another thing we're going to talk out talk about is knock me blackout and knock me color out so we have this image here that has a completely black background obviously you're not going to want to print this black square especially if you're going to put it on a black t-shirt so what the option you have here is you can go in right click this down here in production plugins is knock me blackout if we click this you'll see that it basically just takes all the black out of the image so if we put this on a black shirt it will still look just like the image above they pretty much look the same. The only difference is it's not actually printing the black. There's no black print in here. So this works super nice. You can obviously play with it a little bit, add a little more black in. And if you think it too much, took too much out, add a little less. All of these things do stuff. You can play with all of them to get it to look exactly how you want. You can take out a lot of it. You can take out very little of it. Kind of however you think it will look best. So once that's all done, you can just hit OK. And then wait for it to load for a second but once it will load in this preview window you will see that it is no longer printing black and you'll see the very little speckles basically of ink that are on here so that's a super nice feature for taking out a black image especially if an image comes in with a black background so the last thing we're going to talk about is nesting jobs you see we have this one school logo and then this test logo that we have down here in this page queue, you can actually set this to auto nest. And when I import both these jobs, they'll fill together. The problem is if I want to print a full sheet, I got to delete the job. So it's easier for me just to leave it on auto page and then do what I'm going to do next to nest them together. So you can actually click on this job up here. 
So these will both fit on one tab. So what we can do is we can actually click on this one up here. Obviously that one down there would fit. We'll go page, nest all, you can hit yes. And it will pretty much nest any jobs that will fit. So in this case, it's just these two. They moved up here to this job. So I can still move these around. I can still make this, you know, half a sheet and the other one half a sheet. And then they clearly would fit. I can also make this small again. And then I can still go in and make copies and fill up the rest of the sheet this way. So that's a super nice feature if you're trying to maximize how much you're going to get out of each sheet. It's super nice if obviously you can print more than one job on a sheet. You'll save money. It'll be half the cost obviously for you. So that's pretty much all I had for you today. I hope you guys learned something. I hope this helps you with your printer. And if you have any more questions, make sure to let us know in the comments below. Again, thanks for watching guys.